Hello, everybody, and blow me. Welcome. Welcome to the Cleveland Browns halftime report with the score. The Cleveland Indians, nothing, and the Boston Red Sox, five. Joining me is Bronk from England and is Brian and uh, from the moon. And uh, we are doing our dress rehearsal. There's going to be no post-game show, so don't get greedy. I got to get my sleep. But... Hey, we're doing this because, well, I fucking feel like it. Uh, I got a couple things I want to say before I let anyone say anything, anything. Uh, defense, there's a lot of want to in defense, and we we're seeing that want to by the Cleveland Browns defense. But you know, when it comes to offense, it isn't so much want to as it is capable of doing. And it doesn't matter if it's Tyrod Taylor, Tyrod Taylor, Elizabeth Taylor. It doesn't really matter if it's Baker Mayfield. Uh, that offensive line, A, can't block, and B, there's nobody open downfield. I mean, plain and simple, what does it matter if we see Tyrod Taylor go back to throw and look and go, uh-oh, and start running out, or, or if Baker Mayfield's like, uh oh, and nobody's open. Now you know why Jarvis Landry was not a number one receiver in Miami. For one thing, he had Tannehill throwing to him. But the other reason is because you need to be able to stretch the field. And Damian Ratley is not going to be able to do that for you. And Richard Higgins is not going to be able to do that for you. So, as much as I would like to say that, uh, you know, we have depth. We don't have depth at wide receiver. And without Josh Gordon uh, on the field, uh, we have shortcomings. Number two thing I want to say. If you want to end up with the former Cleveland Browns offensive coordinators, just keep it up, Mr. Haley. Run the ball down the field. Take four downs at the one-yard line and don't try a single running play. Fuck you in the mouth. All right. I'm sick of this bullshit Mickey Mouse crap. You know, if you want to have a team with attitude, you drafted Nick Chubb, just run him into the line twice. If we can't get it, try to throw it on third. You know, but the bottom line is you've got to start moving bodies. And when you move the ball down the field by running it, and, and then it's like they, they, they get like this thing in their head like, Oh, well, we want Tyrod to feel better about himself and complete a pass. Fuck Tyrod. Tyrod is an average quarterback. Please. Please. He's a 50-50 guy. He's a 500 quarterback. Let's not get excited. He had to go. He was the Pro Bowl in 2015. Yeah, right. And, and, and Jan Gomes was an all-star this year. Fuck you. It doesn't mean anything. Tyrod Taylor is an average quarterback. He is a seat warmer and he won't be here next year. So don't get too excited about that, Mr. Haley. All right. That's the thing right off the bat that I saw in the first half from a negative perspective. Receivers not open. Spencer Drango guys running up his ass behind between his legs over his head. Uh, Spencer Drango. I want if, if there were two people I could fucking kill today, it would be Spencer Drango and Josh Tomlin, okay? Dead. Niedermeyer, dead man. All right? I don't want to see <laughs> these people anymore. Adam, baby. Okay. Now, we'll go to you guys. What did you guys see? Yay, defense. Yeah. Hey, we have a new and three points from, uh, and actually three points from uh, Baker Mayfield. So we did have something. Uh, we have a new jo person joining us in here with the Cavaliers logo. Ron, how you doing? Keith does mic mute muted. Well done, Ron. Unmute Ron, your you mic. Gotta, uh, you got to have a microphone. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> yeah. It is one of those things that is just part of the plan. There he is. But he might as well Work be a, a deaf mute. Uh, okay. Uh, at any rate. <laughs> hey, the, the Jason Kipnis Award for Achievement has to go to Jabril Peppers on this team, though. Isn't he awful? Uh, God's sake, get rid of him. 
I, I don't know. Jabril, Jabril Peppers runs into a pile on kickoff. <laughs> I don't don't understand what the primary. I, he's the only is. person that can catch a, a safety kick and still not make it up to the thirty five yard line. He is pathetic. Yeah, he, is, he, he, he doesn't look like he has any explosion. Explosion. He doesn't have any evasiveness at all. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, where's I'm, Callaway today? You know, I live in another country. I don't get old. In oh, no, his groin is injured. His yeah. groin, huh? Yeah, it's part of that Kardashian curse. No, I don't. <laughs> you know, it, it, Where is he? Uh, my groin hurts. My groin hurts. Yeah, like, I pulled my groin. Yeah, somebody else should have been somebody doing else it. Somebody else did, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's you know again. Uh, it, it was like when I was uh, re reading that the Patriots uh, cut Kenny Britt, and they said <laughs> they were they were looking for such big things from him. And it's like yeah, not between his legs. Please. How's Mingo doing with them? Is he still alive? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think somebody wished him dead before Josh Tomlin. Um, uh, I didn't see that game. I'm glad I didn't. They're horrible. Yeah, I mean, Baker Mayfield goes back to throw, and he's looking around downfield, and, you know, it, it, it kind of reminded me of when I go shopping at Walmart. You go shopping at Walmart? No, uh, <laughs> be, 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 because you stare you at the shelf. You can't find anything. That's right. You stare at the you shelf. You can't like, fucking find anything. I don't want anything. I don't want any of that shit. Please. So, yeah, there you have that. Ironically, you would have to see around 350-pound people as well. So That's true. That's yeah. very true, Barack. And, 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 I mean, you know, the, with the, the constant butt crack showing, oh, it's just really, uh, you know, I know why there's a pharmacy in every Walmart. It's just to get you through the rest of the store. I mean, you know, it's like, you're... you're <laughs> I really need free clues with every ten dollar purchase. There's seventy five <laughs> aisles in this fucking place, man. I need pills. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But you know, and again, we saw nothing of Nick Chubb except when we started moving the ball down the field, and uh, we yeah, he gets one eleven yard run and then nothing. It, it, it's just like. You know, deja vu. You know, it, 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 it's like everyone who comes to Cleveland, every offensive coordinator abandons what you know, whatever success they you know. I mean, you go at them. You 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 yeah. run if the a, ball. If a, if a play works, they try it once. If a play doesn't work, they try it three fucking times in a row. I know, I mean, and and each time Jarvis Landry not getting separation, saying he's grabbing me. Yeah, you know. how many times do we have to see him complaining about pass interference? I mean, that is such a old hat excuse. Man. Yeah, uh, I just well the one the the first one was defensive holding, so yeah. he did have a case. Yeah, 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 he was uh, interfered with. He, there's no, uh, it was defensive holding. He he was prevented from going to a spot on the field, but you know. I look at Tyrod Taylor last week, this week, and you know something? Uh, it, it, just understand that, A, he serves a purpose. All right? He is the guy who has proven he can win approximately 50% of the games he plays. He will get you some wins. He will manage the game. He won't force the ball into a bad situation and make ridiculous turnovers, but he won't make any big plays either. And that's who he is. And he's a guy who's trying to prove himself so that he can get to a bigger and better team than the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> and, and and unless, it's like a, unless it's like the Njoku play where he just literally outran the linebacker all the way to the end zone. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, well, that was just, he was the, the go receiver. He was the hot receiver. And then, you know, he laid it in there down the middle of the field, but you know, that, that and Baker Mayfield, is the perfect guy to sit on the bench and watch Tyrod Taylor get his wrist broken or whatever yeah. because Spencer Drango's got his head up his ass. And you don't want your prize possession rookie to be forced into a situation where he's playing with players that he hasn't practiced with and he has to play behind this line. We need more help on the offensive line, folks. Oh, God, yes. Oh. And... Yeah, we just not pass blocking, and we're, we're and receivers. We need Gordon. Uh, you know, if, if I'm Des Bryant, I'm sitting there going, 
Ooh. One ringy dingy, two ringy dingies. I, you know, they're going to be on the phone to him in a big furry hurry. You know, it's funny how momentum changes. It was like Des came I in. I'm surprised that it's going on during you know, right now. Yeah, I mean, Des is probably was Get like on the phone. they want me. They want me real bad. And then he doesn't make a deal, and Josh Gordon walks in, and it's like they don't want me. And then he sees. Damian Ratling, he goes, oh, God, they want me. So, yeah, we got to do something. <clears throat> Somebody's got to be able to get off. Uh, you know, one thing about Higgins, he catches the ball, but he doesn't consistently run sharp patterns and get open. You need to, you cannot have a bunch of people running over the, you know, 8, 10, 12 yards in the middle of the field, which is traditionally what, you know, what Landry has done <laughs> in his career. And it's basically what Higgins does. And it's basically what Najoku does. <laughs> you got to have some outside speed. And I'm afraid that Callaway, the only time his legs feel better is when he's high. And I'm concerned that, you know, soft tissue injuries, we've seen this already with wide receivers. When it starts, it doesn't stop. I just, we need him to stay healthy and to keep some speed on the field. And to return puns, because God only knows, I just don't, don't want to see Jibril Peppers doing that anymore. Good news is that the defense played very well. The good news is Jamie Collins made an interception. That's good news. Uh, we got some push off the off or the uh, off of our defensive line. Got into yeah, the I backfield. For sure they were giving up seven points on that drive. I thought that would have been the case, and uh, but you know it helps when Foles stares down Ertz for about fifteen seconds in the pocket. I mean, well, that's a question. Yeah, but that didn't matter last year. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. Do you think the Eagles are playing at anywhere near full speed in this game now? Uh, well, if they're not, uh, first they, game defense, they should yes. be. If, if they're not, they should be. And well, the offense doesn't look like they are. That's not an excuse. I mean, the, the way I look at it is they should be. And just like the Browns should be. And every team that plays in this week should be. But no, it doesn't look like either team is particularly well versed on their offense. And this wow. is the second week in a row that Taylor has looked like schmutz out there. And uh, we got a second half of football coming, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, I think I wouldn't be surprised if Tyrod gets one more series here uh, because of uh, him having to come out in the first half for a little bit, and then we'll throw Baker in. And, and then I think you're going to see Broby. Uh, <laughs> Throwback. Uh, oh God almighty. The Broby's <laughs> girlfriend looks like she's too fucking old, man. Either she's hit the tanning booth way too many times. Wow. Yeah, but she, she's like, uh, I don't know. She, uh, for, compared to him, like cougar action. I don't get it. So, at any rate. Bring back uh, Connor Shaw or Brian Shaw or Robert uh, Shaw. Robert Shaw would be better. <laughs> Or, or maybe the man's uncle. I don't know. I, I, all right. We're ready for the second half, folks. Hey, oh everybody, God, dress rehearsal cool. halftime show is over. And, uh, you know, I'll you put my back. have a muted new visitor on here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that, it was nice to have you, Mr. Deaf Mute. And please come back again with a microphone and you can join us right here on the Moohead Radio halftime and future post game shows here we go Erin andrews is getting ready to show her left breast so i gotta get going everybody wow. thanks a lot for tuning in we'll see you in the regular season until then go brown live in 4k hasta la vista pastor heads bye, -bye. <laughs>